Hey there folks, this is Hugrin, your nomadic gamer, and it's time for more vampiric adventures with Dr. Jonathan Reed. How dare that gigantic freak of a person. Okay, we got a fight going on, so it's going to be skulls and guards. Reverend Kane. Just going to let that keep going. He's got a staff. Oh my goodness. Oh, did you, you didn't spot me, did you? This is no place for a gentleman. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I can hear you. Do you want me to, like, wave something, or...? What do you want? What do you want? Hey, back off! That's very rude. That's very rude. Whoa, there's someone out there with a gun? That's not cool. Back off. I told you to back off. Who's got the gun? Oh, there's a sniper in the distance. Oh, I see you, sniper. I gotta deal with this reverend. Unfortunately. Please, sir, oh. can't let you through. Not the same place right now. I am here to step back. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We can just hit me from wherever? Oh, no, you don't. Not, not, not like that. So rude. So rude. This man stunned me with his faith. His crucifix. This is not good news. Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna avoid that amazing, fantastic pun. But, uh... I can't use any of this stuff? There's nothing to... F oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, come on! There's nothing more I can take from this guy? He had amazing stuff! You don't know how to pickpocket people. Especially not the dead. Dag nabbit, dude, you disappoint me in all manners of ways. Oh yeah, there's a... Where is that dude with the gun? Hey, there you are! Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need blood. So give it up. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Ah, ah. I said I needed your blood. I didn't say you could take it from me. I need a little bit more. Just, just a little bit? Just a little bit more? Thanks, buddy. Your pal. Alright, how far am I away from the church? I'm almost there. Alright. Should be able to get there without any further incident. Looks like that's the case. So I'm gonna go up here. Snag that. Hello? Anybody down there? No? Okay, bye. Why is the situation serious in Whitechapel? I'm pretty sure I tried to heal everybody here. Okay, hold on a minute. Quarantine the church? Hey, yes? how you doing? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. Huh. That's weird. Victor, Mary helps you, Joseph. John. 
You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. I have no need for a kind ear. I don't need company. Uh, I don't want to be rude. Uh, we'll, we'll go with this one. I mean, that seems a little less rude than the others. You seem to me a good soul, Vicar. But this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel. For I can be as silent as stone. Ah, hmm. oh, man. Um, well, I want to have some faith in the church, so we'll go with this option again. At least this corner. I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. <laughs> Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? Cared for her, or just say she was my sister. I mean, I, I would hope that the writers would want him to continue to be vague, regardless of which one I pick. So we'll keep going with she's my sister. She was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was. a good way to go about this without also implicating myself for horrendous crime <laughs> she has been laid to rest that's all you need to know I see and how are you feeling my son I feel responsible I feel responsible the pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What would you like her to know? Well, this, yeah. I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been hurt, my son. And your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now. They're, they're and live super your sincere. Life in the way she would <laughs> you murder a scum! And then stab right in the back. <laughs> okay, now it said something happened. An unknown event. So, let's go check that out. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all. Why you gotta say it with such hate, man? Jeez. So angry. Let's uh, see, he didn't need help. I don't have migraine medication, but if I find Cadigan Bates, I think I got cold medicine. Where is Cadigan Base? Can I see him? Cadigan, where you at, boy? We should be right there with him. No, nope, that's Barrett Lewis. Okay. So past Joe, and I take a right or a left. We even used to be neighbors for Christ's sake. I'd prefer not to give you another beating, Barrett. Barrett. 
Hey, there he is. Cat again. What's up, boy? You distribute flowers at this hour. Shush you. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? In Whitechapel? What an opportunity. My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, because I say a live tenant's a paying tenant. Well, you're not wrong. Let's go ahead and give you that medicine. Ah, yes, I've got two. Okay, good. Uh, Since I took an oath to help people, can I be of assistance? Well, seen better days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Wow, okay, so we're gonna gloss over that bit. And we're just gonna give Infecting you, medicine. you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this in any case. What? You give me this for free? Don't have a clue about this place, do you? I'm a doctor. Shush. You have a good day. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. Talk with you later. Alright. Taking care of him. So, oh. So if I go down into the right. Wait, it should be right here. Oh, this is. This is the. This is the hospital. This is a, that nurse. No. Ah, uh, balls. Ah, uh, crud. I can't fight her now. No. Oh no, Mr. Petrosky. Wait, wasn't this his place? I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, it's a horrible cry and shame. Where? This was his place. Oh no, where is he? He's gone. He's just gone. It's locked, all right. Well, of course, it's locked. Ah, oh, man. Back to the hospital now. Man. When science fails you, this elixir will give you faith again. It's all the way back there. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, he's still alive. 
Alright, this looks like a good place to take a break in our little adventure. I want to thank you folks for coming by to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button. If you want, go ahead and leave a comment or maybe even subscribe. And until next time, folks, peace.